back to collectible stonks. So today I finally got this bad boy right here, right? I've been waiting for my, well, I guess this is one of my booster boxes that I plan on opening. I should be getting another one. Um, well, as soon as I get that Wubby package in the mail, I'll be getting a second, second edition open for the box or for the channel, I should say. But uh, here we go. So obviously I have not completed my second edition master set. I unfortunately, damn, I think I might just slashed right through there. That's not good. Well, I <laughs> guess we'll find out, huh? Um, I actually have not completed my second edition master set. I'm still missing a few of the uh, OB9s. Um, I am missing, uh, what else am I missing? I think that's all I'm missing. I think I'm only missing the OB9s and um, everything else I think I already have, y'all. So the only thing besides the OB9s that I believe I need are the box toppers. So let's see if we get lucky. I still need, I want to say like, like five, maybe four box toppers or something like that. So we are on the hunt for those box toppers that I need to complete the set. Uh, granted, like when I, when I talk about master set, I actually mean, you know, all the box toppers, all the uh, spell book, I believe what they're auras, right? The spell book auras, I, I definitely need. Um, I may just be purchasing those to be honest with you or i might just buy them and keep opening up for the channel till i get the master set but here we go without further ado i guess uh, we'll start with the box topper because let's be honest i am not lucky enough to get a blue ink i don't think i have ever had that much luck in my entire life so we might as well just get it out of the way wow it's fucking tight dude all right let's let's see what we get let's see what we have whoop so right from the, let's see, can you guys see that? Yeah, you can, hell yeah. Ah, oh, we got another snowing. I've gotten like four of these, man. All right, whatever. So these right here, uh, for those of you guys that think, you know, second edition, there's no money in it, whatever. Um, believe it or not, this is probably about one third of what the box cost me. These sell for anywhere between 20 to 25. At least last I checked, I sold, I sold two of these for 20 bucks a pop recently, I believe. So... Hey, that's already 20 bucks, give or take, for the box. So we're already one-fourth of the way there. We literally, if we pull one full Hollow Mothman, the entire box is basically paid for. Uh, so for those of you guys who were not aware, I actually got extremely lucky. I did an off-screen... Um, I did an off-screen box opening with my girlfriend, and sure enough, <laughs> we end up pulling, like... We pulled, what, three Mothman? Two of them were reversed, and obviously the full hollow that we finally got. Hey, full hollow Snallygaster. I think this was one of the ones that I needed, so I'm just going to put that bad boy over there just in case. And then, yep, so what I'm going to be doing for this box opening is I'll probably be speeding along through it. I'm sure a lot of you already know what type of cards you get from these. I'm sure you guys have seen tons and tons of videos for it. I know if you're like me, you are here to see the pools, like the actual hollow, not the common uncommon. Um, speaking of hollow, un uh, you know, common uncommon, really the most valuable uncommon card there is, uh, is lightning in a bottle. So for those of you not aware, lightning in a bottle is basically used in the, the meta. And so that's why it sells for so much. So for those of you guys that have a bunch of these boxes with bulk laying around, Pull all of your lightning in the bottles because they go for like two bucks. So, I mean, that's two dollars. That literally pays for each pack, right? So, let's see what we get. Hollow slot. And we got a reverse Salem Witches. I'm just going to put that in my reverse pile over there. And then, do we have any lightning in the bottles? We do not. Okay. So, on to the next pack, fellas. Um, but, yeah. So, right now, Orlando Collecticon is going on, right? And, unfortunately, I live in texas and i couldn't go so i'm really hoping i can go to the collecticon that's going to happen in houston later this year i believe it's in may um because i would love to go see and see if i can get me one of those little plushies but um really cool really wish i could have gone but hey it is what it is um i know a lot of content creators are out there right now kind of streaming it i know that they have exclusive promotional card pre-order for wilderness only available at the con which i mean that's pretty cool all right i looked at the card it looks like it's um it looks like a car, like from the UFO from the Men in Black, but we'll see. So we got a Snow Wasset for a reverse. See if we got any lightning in the bottles. We did not. Okay. 
So, yeah, so Collecticon's going on. I know Dream Book is out there. I know a lot of a lot of different card games are out there. I saw uh, Ted's Basement's video that he's out there right now with the um, DSG Blacklight Slabs. Look pretty cool. You know, I just don't know how to feel about DSG just yet. I mean, they have some really good slabs. But I know that if you're into grading cards for reselling, uh, obviously, if you're going to resell, go with the big two, PSA or BGS. Although I will say... Hey, holy crap, we got a Sam Sinclair. Okay, we got a Sam Sinclair. I already have this dude, but he's one of the most expensive cards in the set. He goes for like 15 to 20 bucks, and the last time I sold one, I actually sold him for 25. I haven't checked the market on him just recently, but hey, that's going to go in the cash pile over here. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's If it is 20 bucks like it was, uh, that alone pays for another fourth of the box. So these boxes... You guys can get these boxes for, what, like 85 bucks shipped on TCG Player? Like, that's nuts, right? Obviously, with tax and whatnot, it ends up being like 90 bucks, 93 bucks, something like that. But, I mean, dude, the value is there. Like, I think these boxes, I think every MetaZoo product is, or at least like second edition, is in like some major arbitrage. And I don't think it's, it's actually gone down. Um, so, one of my favorite things to do is actually getting a bunch of blister packs right and i open the pack and that's that's one of the main re the, one of the main ways that i get to um build my personal collection while also making sure i don't break the bank right so maybe i'll get like 20 blister packs at five dollars each for 100 bucks right i keep one of the promo cards for my collection and uh, i sell all the other promo cards and the coins that come with them along with any duplicate pools that I pull from the uh, booster packs. And let me tell you guys, it literally pays for itself. I I'm, I'm either A, breaking even, or B, I'm, I'm literally making profit while building my personal collection. So for those of you that, uh, you know, can't afford to be opening boxes every day, but you want to have a collection, that's one way you could do it. Blister packs. I mean, heck, even spell books. The spell book aura, uh, full hollow auras sell for like 10 to... 15 bucks a pop y'all you know and then any duplicate pools you get i know the sleeves i sold some sleeves for like 15 bucks i've sold the coins for like five like there's money everything in my opinion from what i've seen everything is an arbitrage for metazoo second edition so we got a space penguins i think i already have this little dude pretty sure i do so i'm gonna put it over here in the reverse pile and then did we get any nope we did not get any lightning in the bottle so Lightning in a bottle is funny because on average, I have pulled roughly two to three lightning in a bottles per booster box, right? So the fact that they sell for really good money and you get about two to three, we can expect about another $5 or so worth of value in there, uh, which really just helps the overall box cost. Oh my God, we got another OB9. We got a silver bullet. I already have this one. But that is awesome. These go for like 10 bucks, y'all. Like these are, boom, gonna go in the cash pile over there. Did we get any lightning in a bottle? We did not, okay. But yeah, man, no. So back to the arbitrage talk, right? Arbitrage in MetaZoo. I've noticed the arbitrage since I've started collecting MetaZoo. I noticed how there seems to be a subset of collectors for the promo cards and there seems to be a lot of people that uh, we just got a reverse funeral pyre or whatever the fight funeral mountain terror shot or whatever uh but there seems to be hey we got our first lightning in the bottle there we go that's the cash pile gonna go on that side but there seems to be all the way back to you know well at least not no more i don't think first it well first edition product so the only thing i would say that first edition product may have arbitrage on would be the blister packs they seem to be because again you can sell that promotional card for what like 40 bucks you could sell a coin for like 20 i mean heck i've sold coins for 25 from first edition product and you can get one of those little blister packs for what like 65 bucks so essentially you could sell the card and the and the coin and you just about break even on that alone so but if you get lucky and you know this is why people do it oh my light went off on my screen y'all sorry about that anyways the reason people open them is because if they are, they're going to break even or maybe just lose a couple bucks on it, but you have a chance of getting a 
Oh, did I do the freaking card trick wrong? Oh, my bad, y'all. There we go. Um, but you, you basically have a really good chance of pulling something good. So, I mean, if you were to get 20 of those packs at $65 each, and, and I could be wrong on the price. I'm pretty sure they're like $65. Bucks. Uh, it's going to cost you a grand total of what? Like 1000 to 200 bucks, right? But let's say you resell whatever you can, the card and the coin, uh, you would make up the majority of your money back, right? Leaving any hollows or reverse hollows that you pull. <laughs> we got another, wow, that's wild. So I actually just pulled this one the other day, but we just got another OB9. I think that, so that's three OB9s so far. I believe this, Sam Sinclair is an, an OB9, isn't he? Yeah, this is another one, I believe. So that's three OB9s and we're not even like fourth of the packs through. So um, like I was saying, what you could potentially do is buy a bunch of blister packs, first edition blister packs, sell the Mothman promo, sell the coin. You would either A, lose maybe like five bucks or you'd break about even depending. But if you think about it this way, right? For a $5 gamble after you sell the promo and the coin, you yourself could pull some really good cards. You could pull a Sam Sinclair. You can pull a Mothman. You can you can do all of that. And I mean, even like first edition Mothman sell for like what, $400 now? So like, there's a lot of upside to those products being an arbitrage. Hey, we got another Space Penguins. Any lightning in a bottle? We do not, okay. So the fact that that first edition product is still an arbitrage, the boxes, not so much. You have to pull quite a bit of probably like two or three Mothman to make it worth it. Probably two Mothman. If you can pull two Mothman in a, in a box, you'd probably make up all the cost of the box. But the fact that that one product is still in arbitrage, and I noticed that originally, and that, which is why I did that same thing with uh, Nightfall, another Snow Wasset, which is why I did the same thing with Nightfall, where I, I basically, everything was in arbitrage when Nightfall first released. Booster boxes were crazy good. I mean, the booster boxes for Nightfall on release were selling for like $300, right? And during that first week, you could open up those boxes and you could make an additional $100 worth of the pools alone. You know, I remember me and my girlfriend went to Game Castle every day to get packs. And uh, every single time we'd pay whatever it was, MSRP, and we'd end up opening more like it was worth more than what the product was sealed at market price you know so that's kind of where uh where i started getting the idea to open up to open up any of the of the products that originally come out because it seems like and i want to say it's because metazoo does not have guaranteed hits it also does not have uh too many fancy cards like Pokemon, for example, that cause a booster box to either be A, worth, you know, like 300 bucks, 400 bucks, or it being worth like half of what you paid for it, right? So, hey, we got a nice Lightning Glass. So Lightning Glass is another, I want to say it's also another meta card. Uh, this one in Reverse Hollow, they usually sell for about four bucks. Put that over there. And then let's see, we got any Lightning in the bottles? We did not, okay. But, um... Uh, it's just really, like, that arbitrage alone, man, like, it really does help. So the fact that there are no big pools or big fancy hollows, obviously the the fanciest pools that you can get besides a full hollow in MetaZoo, at least currently. Now, according to Mike, that, that that's not going to change, but, you know, things happen, right? But currently for MetaZoo, the only biggest hits that you can get are the secret rares or the box topper secret rare, right? So... Not every product, and that's a medium stirred eye. That's another good card. Gets me a couple bucks. Um, but essentially, not not every, not every, um, God, I lost my train of thought, y'all. Um, not every, you know, product, I should say, you know, is, is um, what do you, what should I call it? Golly, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought with that freaking medium stirred eye. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is because they do not have an overwhelmingly majority majority of uh, fancy cards, it actually helps the value of these boxes, you know, stay valuable. And so 
that has really helped. Hey, we got the best boy. We got a reverse hollow squonk. These guys actually go for like a dollar, you know, so money pile, baby. But uh, that arbitrage has really helped MetaZoo, at least from the market side of things, right? It has really helped MetaZoo stay. I mean, people like to open it. It's fun to open. And the fact that a lot of these pools can get you your money back for the box you pull, like you opened. I mean, that's where it's all about. I mean, I remember with Pokemon, man, I wouldn't even make half of my money back on a box. And I get it, you know, uh, you win some, you lose some. But it, it always felt like if like the full hollows and reverse hollows were so undervalued. I mean, they, they really are. They're extremely undervalued for Pokemon because nobody cares about them anymore. We got a Mermaid Scales. Okay, that's a decent one. Um, nobody cared about full hollows or reverse hollows for Pokemon. It's either A, you get a VMAX, you get an Alt Rare, an Alt Art Rare, you get a Rainbow Rare. Like, there's so many rarity tiers with Pokemon that it's it's all or nothing on that rare slot. And so, hollows are just a that nobody cares in this case right there's only two rarities well three if you consider the the secret star rares but there's really only two it's only it's only reverse hollows and hollows that uh and obviously the some of the uncommons but hey we got a full hollow hodag yes sir um yeah, so the, the MetaZoo only having reverse hollows and hollows really helps the value of the box. I sense that the moment they go away from that model, arbitrage will be a thing of the past. Um, I, I mean, heck, as they continue growing, arbitrage may go away. Um, yeah, we got a GG bird. Um, as they continue to grow, I, I, I see that the arbitrage may actually go away, especially as more people start opening product, more product floods the market, more people try to undercut each other. I mean, it happens, right? But it's just so strange and kind of cool that, you know, second edition released back in January, right? Early January. And we're heading into March, heading into Wilderness's release. Oh, we got a full hollow Jersey Devil. That is so cool. Awesome. Let's put that bad boy there. Um, but we're 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 nearing March. I mean, shoot, March is next week, y'all. We're about to get to Wilderness in the next few weeks. And the fact that this product, second edition, the cards are still selling well. The the boxes are selling well. The value, I mean, compared to the first week, yeah, it's gone down, but the value of the box has come down with it. Um, and the fact that even now, as we're opening this box, it's they're in arbitrage, at least from what I've seen. Like, that's nuts. You know, actually, it's going to go on this side. Like, hey, oh, I thought we had another lightning in the bottle. Nope, just another shockwave or whatever that is. But, like, the fact that... The fact that it's been almost, what, two months since this product released and that it's still in arbitrage, that the booster pack, the booster box is so cheap that you can make more money opening it and keeping it sealed. And you also have the gamble of, hey, you might pull that, you know, blue ink. And it, that just boggles my mind, y'all. Like, holy cow, you know, we got a little mini hune. Nada, nada, enchilada. All right, we didn't get another light in the bottle. Um... Like, that's just crazy to me because most products by this point, they usually bottom out along with the pools. But there's something about full hollows and reverse hollows and the way MetaZoo has, you know, engineered the product that makes people want the full hollows. Hey, we got a... Oh, you know what? I need a full hollow Tizzeruk. I have a reverse one. Oh, well. We're going to put that and we'll put it in the money pile. Nothing. But yeah, like just that's that just boggles my mind, y'all. Like that's so cool. Like I'm surprised that more people aren't opening up product for days because I'm telling y'all, it's it's cheap. It, the box is cheap. 85 bucks shipped, you can find anywhere. You know? And it comes with a box topper that holds about a fourth of your value, which means any pulls you get from the 36 packs, if you happen to pull a full hollow mothman, like that's money. Like literally, you pull that full hollow mothman. The entire box cost is in your box topper and in that Mothman full hollow. We got a Tripadero. Whoop, light went off again, brothers. Light in a bottle, we do not get a light in a bottle. Oh, well, we tried. 
Oh boy, what is it, like halfway through the box, something like that? I don't know, I'm having fun, y'all. Haven't opened a booster box for the channel, like, in a hot minute. I think my last booster box opening was like, Flesh and Blood, what was it? Uh, Freaking, uh, <laughs> Tales of Aria, that's what it was. I think that was my last booster box opening. Could be wrong. Let's see what we get here. Hey, we got the Enfield Monster Reverse Hollow. All right, and hey, we got our second lightning in the bottle. There we go. So we're going to put those aside. See, I knew the average is about two to three per box. Um, but anyways, it's just nuts, man. Uh, wilderness pre-orders have been hovering around the $120 mark for most places. Um, and people seem pretty comfortable with that. Uh, people seem to be okay with that price point. I don't think we're going to see what happened to second edition simply because it's going to be first edition as well as a new product, right? So for those people that are collectors, investors, everybody loves first edition product. And also the fact that I believe the rumor has it that there's going to be serialized cards. I believe it's actually confirmed. It's no longer a rumor. There's going to be serialized cards coming in this set. So and we got a full hollow holy gem. These go for like five or six bucks last I saw. So that's money right there, fellas. And we got a third lightning in the bottle. I wonder if we can get four in this one box. There's still plenty of packs left. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to calculate the total for you guys. I mean, I don't I have I don't even know if I'll have like the fancy on-screen money sound that other YouTubers make. I'll probably just do it by hand come back and let you know how much we have but let's see what we get we got a joint snake reverse hollow let's go there and nope not a not enchilada we don't got nothing for lightning in the bottle oh man i have a mess on the side of my desk y'all holy cow these wrappers here we go let's see what we get we got man we got a, we still got like 10 packs left or something like that like eight whoops there we go all right let's see here let's see if we get lucky and we got full hollow Fresno Nightcrawlers. These go for like two bucks. And we got a squonk and a hide behind for the uncommon slot. All right, let's see here. Wow. You know, not gonna lie, I feel like we've probably broken even by now. That's Sam Sinclair and the Silver Bullet and the Snowing Box Topper. And like those, those OB9s have really helped, not gonna lie. Let's see what we get here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and we got another full holy gem, full hollow holy gem. That's another. I think, like I said, I think those go for like five bucks. I think, uh, unless it's changed, and I'm, I'm oh, hey, we got a fourth lightning in the bottle. Let's go, fellas. All right, let's see here. I actually need to update my pricing on my uh, on my TCG player. Which, by the way, all these cards that you see here will probably be on my TCG player. Uh, actually, most of them will be. I'm only looking for specific for specific cards at this point. Most of this will be for sale. Uh, let's see what we get here. Hey, I need him in full hollow, and I haven't been able to pull the Loveland Frogman in full hollow. Reverse hollow uh, uh, Frogmans go for about four bucks. I actually just sold one the other day. And nope, no lightning in a bottle. All right. But man, with Wilderness coming out the, uh, at the end of March, uh, from what I've heard, MetaZoo will be all first edition product going forward will always have the same amount of print run. So that's cool. Hey, we got another full hollow Jersey Devil. That's what I like to see, fellas. That's what I like to see. No lightning in a bottle, but we are actually over the average from what I've seen. Most most boxes, like I said, get you an average of two to three. So the fact that we got four in this box, hey, I'm happy with that. Let's see what we get here. We got like four packs left, I think. But anyways, with Wilderness coming out, that's going to be sick. Those serialized cards will likely go for a lot. I don't know the Fresno Nightcrawlers. Um, I'm, I'm not lucky enough for that. I mean, hell, it took me, what, like seven booster boxes before I managed to pull one full Hollow Mothman. Meanwhile, I see, excuse me, meanwhile, I'll be seeing people opening, you know, one bo booster box and getting like, I don't know, like three or four Mothman in a box. Granted, I can't complain because that seventh box uh, gave me three Mothman, one full hollow, which I was desperately in the hunt for. And got an Earth's Core Reverse Hollow. See that. And nope, no lightning in a bottle just yet. 
All right. Oh, shoot. We got... Oh, wow. We got four packs left. Okay. I thought we only had two. So, I guess we'll start with this. I'm going to put this box over here. Um, but, yeah. Wilderness Serialized Cards will go for quite a bit. I think that's what's really helping its value right now. The fact that, one, people love first editions. And, two, all the first... All the... Uh, rumored serialized cards that are going to be in it. Maybe not a lot of them, but there will be serialized cards. Hey, we got a reverse Kentucky Hellhound. Lightning in a bottle, lightning in a bottle. Nope, no lightning in a bottle. So we'll see how Wilderness goes, man. I haven't gotten confirmation for my, um, my allotment of Wilderness product. Um, if that happens, if I actually receive Wilderness product, I will be Letting you guys know, and if you're interested in purchasing that, I will let you know then. Hey, we got a full hollow eternal snowflake. Believe it or not, this this card right here is very, very like I sell so many of these and pretty quickly for about four dollars, three to four dollars. Like Eternal Snowflake is one of my best sellers whenever I have sold them. Like any of the any of the any of the artifacts, artifacts, you know, they all sell extremely quick and extremely well. Um, so that really helps with the value. So let's see what we get here. Hey, we got a reverse hollow Lake Worth monster. And we get another lightning in the bottle. Nada. Hey, you know what? We got one pack left. It's a Mothman on the cover. Hey, we might pull a Mothman. We'll see. I doubt it though. Shoot. It's so hard to, to pull a Mothman for me for some reason. Like I think, I think I pulled like... Most of my Mothman came from rever uh, came from blister packs, and they all were reverse. And so, the fact that I finally pulled them after seven booster boxes was was fucking phenomenal. <laughs> so, hey, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> In the close, we got a ghost train, dude. That is sick. Okay, so these these bad boys here, uh, they sell for anywhere between ten to fifteen dollars. Um, that is cool. This is one of the most famous uh, cryptids that people really, really like. So I think these sell pretty well. Um, that is awesome. Okay, you know what? It wasn't a Mothman, but we got another OB9 and no lightning in a bottle. So let's kind of look and see what we pulled. So first of all, let's start with lightning in a bottle. So we got four lightning in a bottle cards. These roughly sell for about $2. So that, let's say that's eight bucks. Um, anyways, I'm probably going to calculate everything right now and I will tell you guys how much we actually made. Um, so Ghost Train, Eternal Snowflake, like we got some bangers, y'all. Like not even, not even going to lie. We got like two full hollow Jersey Devils. We got one, two, three, four. We pulled four out of the nine obnoxious nines. Sadly, I did not pull Uncle Sam. That's one of the cards I'm missing um, along with, uh, what else am I missing? I think that's the only one um, because I just got growth. I think I'm only missing Uncle Sam, but we also got the box topper. So in these four cards alone, right? So this card is roughly 20. This one's roughly 20. This is roughly, last I saw like 10 or 15. So we'll go with 10. That's 50, that's another 10, that's 60. And then growth, I haven't checked the value on it. Um, so I'll say 65. So just in these cards alone, we've made the majority of our money back from the box, almost, right? So we still got, I mean, I'm still missing what, like $20 worth to make the 85. So honestly, guys, I think this box was a pretty good success. These reverse hollows sell anywhere between fifty cents to two dollars and fifty cents. Um, so yeah, man, if you guys are needing some for your collection and you want to support the channel, I have a link in the description for my TCG Player account where I will have all of these up here shortly. So um, thanks again for checking out the video. We didn't pull a Mothman today, but we we got some pretty good, some pretty dang good cards, man. We got Ghost Trim and. The, Obi nice. Sam Sinclair is definitely a fan favorite. I know that for sure. Like everybody wants this card. Um, so hey, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm extremely happy, especially because this box was free. You know, shoot, gotta love free credit card rewards, y'all. Anyways, that's it. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I will see you next time. Um, I guess you know what? Before that, 
Let me go ahead and calculate the value of all of this, uh, of all the reverses and the lightnings in a bottle. Um, and I will get back with you guys shortly and tell you how much we actually made. All right, fellas, I finished calculating everything. Um, it looks like I was actually wrong about the obnoxious nine. They have gone down in price significantly since I last checked. That's on me. Uh, so essentially, uh, Sam Sinclair is like 10 bucks. Silver Bullet is, I believe, like six bucks. Um, the Ghost Train actually hasn't gone down that much. It's still like almost $12. Uh, and I've already calculated all the other reverse hollows, hollows, and the lightning bottles. So our total, based on TCG pricing right now, without shipping costs that I add to, uh, well, I guess TCG forces you to do shipping um, unless you have like, unless it's over like 20 bucks or something like that, or five bucks. But essentially, with the without the shipping cost uh, in there, for all the cards that we got here, it's $75.13. So the box cost me 85 shipped with tax. It was about 93. I can't complain too much because it was free credit card points that I got the box from. Plus we got to open the box and have some fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, really it's not that bad. All it takes is like one big hit. Like, I mean, you get that one Mothman in there I mean, a reverse one sells for 20 and a full hollow goes for like, what, 60 bucks? So, for example, the box that I got the other day, 85 shipped, I got the box topper, That's that was 20 bucks. Uh, and then I got a full hollow Mothman, that's 60. And then the two reverse hollow Mothmans for 20 each. So, I ended up making what was like, I mean, just off those four cards alone, the box topper and the three Mothman, oh my gosh, it was like 60 plus 40 plus 20. It was $120. So, I made $30 profit just from those four cards. So don't sleep on second edition, fellas. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. Don't sleep on second edition boxes. Don't sleep on second edition product because like I said, if you guys want to test it out, test it out. Get some blister packs, open the packs, sell the promo cards and actually see how easy it is to sell the promo card and the coin and basically make up almost all the cost of that blister pack. So this has been Collectible Stonks. I appreciate you guys looking at this really long video, probably one of my longest on my channel. Um, again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, and I will hopefully be having another booster box uh, opening for you guys uh, sometime next week, hopefully, depending on when this box gets to me. Well, probably not next week. I need to wait for the Wubby package to ship to me because that's where I will be getting that second box to open for the channel. Uh, again, all these cards will be put up on my TCG player store. If you guys are interested in purchasing some of these, I will, I will have the link in the description to my TCG player. But as always, thanks again. I will see you guys in the next one. Appreciate y'all.